Hello everyone, and welcome to the Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over the diffusion coefficient. The diffusion coefficient can be understood if you can understand bumper cars. This is because the diffusion coefficient tells us how easily a substance can move from one area to another. Substances with a small radius, or small bumper cars, in a non-viscous solution on a slick surface move much faster than large bumper cars with a large radius on a sticky surface or a thick viscous solution. For example, if we were to make a bumper car smaller or decrease the radius and the surface more slick or decrease the viscosity, we would say that the diffusion coefficient for that particular bumper car is very high. Now imagine that there's also a wall or membrane that our bumper cars must go through to get to their destination. If the bumper car must go through a thick wall, as shown here, they will not get to their destination very quickly. However, if the wall is as thin as a sheet of tissue paper, we say that the membrane thickness is very low or very small, and the bumper cars will easily and quickly get to their destination. Later, we will see how the diffusion of small oxygen and CO2 bumper cars can travel easily from inside our slick lungs into the blood through our thin walled alveoli. As always, thank you for taking the time to learn with us today, and I hope that you like and subscribe for more content.